Oh, oh, I've got you now, Ann. I've got you on the run. I had the big word, root. Pretty scary, huh? That was super scary. Wasn't that good? Hey, everyone, <laughs> it is Mr. Pew here for this month's edition of Nature to Nature, and I'm here with environmental resource specialist, Ann Messerschmidt. How are you, Ann? I'm good. How are you, Mr. Pew? Oh, great, and I'm having a great time playing Scrabble with you. Are you a big Scrabble fan? Yeah, it's kind of fun. Yeah, well, you know what? We th I thought we'd get together and talk about all the rain that has been falling here in the city of Lakeville and how it's going to affect nature. So uh, it's your turn to play a word. What's okay. the word you're going to play? And all we'll right. talk about something in nature here. All right, I think I'm going to pick. Got a fun word here. Let's talk about lakes. Oh, yeah, now with all the rain, these lakes are filled with water, aren't they? Yes, they absolutely are. It is crazy wet out there. We are really high. Orchard has gone under a no-wake zone. It just got lifted today, but it keeps changing. We've never had that happen here before, so the rain is really affecting things this year. Now, what does that do to the lakes when there's lots and lots of extra water in there? Is that a good thing or a bad thing? You know, it, it's a little bit both. Um, when it's kind of a bad thing because it goes up higher on people's shorelines, it might not be as well protected, and that can cause some extra erosion into the lakes and erosion gets into the water from up above if there's construction or if there was a failure somewhere a lot of sediment can get in there then you got pollutants that can get washed in there as well and in fact some people suggest that after a heavy rain you shouldn't even swim in a lake for one to three days to make sure that stuff settles out and you're not coming in contact with some pollutants that you really wouldn't be able to track down or figure out what they are. Sure, so this rain is actually going to affect the ecosystem of the lake probably for months, maybe years to come. Well, for for sure for months. Yeah. <laughs> All right, now it's my turn to uh, to play a word. Could okay. you uh, scoot yours in because uh, I don't have any opposable thumbs. The word I'd like to play is pond and we'll okay. put it right here. All right. P O N. There's the D. Pond. Oh. Oh, now tell me, now ponds are not as big as lakes, but how does all this rain affect ponds? Well, ponds, you know, they can jump up too, and a similar thing can happen. Ponds can jump? Well, physically, you know, the waters they can leap out of there. Their, their, oh, okay, oh, I'm sorry, I'm taking you literally, sorry. <laughs> yeah, no, not jump, but the water yes. can go up really fast. And then you've got, um, oh, what was I going to say? Oh, if it's like more of a wetland area where um, mosquitoes like to be, all the eggs will wash in there and you'll get way more mosquito populations and things like that. So that's a little bit troublesome that we don't like to see those guys around. But same with the pollutants and stuff like that, but it's, it's different. They, they're more flashy. But hopefully they're catching and doing their job and catching most of the pollutants before it makes it to the lake. Very good. All right, Ann, what's your final word that you're going to play? Because if you'd get a good one, I all think right, you're going to win. See. Let's see, what is it? Yeah, all I've got is vowels left and a Q, J, and an R. Uh-oh, so you I'm, might be done. I got nothing. Woo. An N. Uh-oh, this looks like a big word. A N. <laughs> you did have these lined up before, I remember before we started. <laughs> Quiet, don't tell the secret. <laughs> oh, look at what she's spelling. She's spelling nature. nature. Oh, man, very good. <laughs> how, how many how many score points do you score on that one? You know, one? not that many because they're all worth one. So oh, just bummer. six. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, we'll take it. Yep. Better than being stuck with a QJ and an R. Well, all right, Ann, now tell me, what does all this rain, how does it affect nature? Like the trees and, and, and us animals? Yeah, well, you know, it makes it hard sometimes. It might make more habitat for some and less habitat for others. It's kind of just different. If you're a frog, you're going to like it because there's going to be more places for you to have your babies and you won't get, you know, dried out of a pond and your babies don't make it. Um, but if you're, you know, a rabbit or something. Or where, a skunk. Yeah, yeah, your holes might get filled up. You might have to move your whole house. That's a problem. Um, and then, but trees and things, in general, if it's not totally flooded, usually that's, trees can handle that, that live near that. They are adapted to handle it. Those, this will be a high growth year for trees, so they'll, they should do very well this year. So our grass is super green and things like that, so there's some good and bad with all of it. Excellent. Well, thank you so much for your time, Ann, and oh, I just love playing Scrabble with you. <laughs> we'll have to do this again in the future. Sure, sounds good. So we'll see you next time, folks, on Nature to Nature, and I think you won.
All I've got is an E L E I I O Q R. Oh, pff, forget it. Good game, Anne. Thanks. You too. See you next time, folks. <laughs>